one, go. Uh, good afternoon from South Africa. Uh, my name is Roger Duffield. I'm chairman and CEO of uh, Plancher uh, Biotechnologies um, and its subsidiary companies. And I'd like to talk to you about Protex Mobility and its uh, licensing rights to pharmaceutical applications in humans with Phytofair bioavailable botanical extracts. And this includes the product that's currently in the market, the green tea catechin complex, a complex of citrus limonoids and bioflavonoids, um, carotenoids uh, from tomato, and the non-psychoactive complex of cannab cannabinoids uh, from live cannabis plants. I've been um, working on the science uh, since 2002, and I'd like to share with you some of the most important reasons uh, why Planch has been able to develop proprietary sciences and processing technologies that delivers plants, uh, extracts, in a highly bioavailable form. The big problem in all plants is the ability to release the phytonutrients which in most cases is recovered from dry plant material. And in our case, it's recovered only from live plants, and so the antioxidants and the other phytonutrients are still in a very active and stable form. We've also uh, been able to develop uh, delivery systems to protect the, these um, uh, phytonutrients uh, all the way to the blood plasma. So let me go on and explain. When you develop new sciences, there's always doubt about the claims that you make. And in order to um, uh, put everybody's mind to rest, we conducted uh, clinical studies with a Phytofair green tea complex at Northwest University drug development platform in Potchefstroom in South Africa. And these results were published in 2015, and where we were able to show uh, through independent scientific investigations that the dosage of the catechins was 10 times less than the generic, which means you need 10 times less um, uh, of the extract, and also um, the catechins were found to remain in the blood for more than 24 hours. That was all the eight catechins, whereas with the generic, only two of the eight catechins were transferred into the blood and they were washed out in less than six hours. So the big issues has always been is how do you transfer the uh, phytonutrients through the stomach's acids, which unfortunately metabolizes and destroys. And so we've been able to develop um, and formulate a protective system by entrapping the um, uh, phytonutrients into a liposome oil delivery system, which is produced from sunflower oil, which protects the phytonutrients through the stomach acids uh, into the blood plasma. And to further protect it, this is um, um, uh, formulated into a twin capsule delivery system. So having said all that, we now look at the applications for the products that we have made and what we're about to make. And remember that m all the products except for the cannabis were researched and documented 10 years ago extensively in the United States with the USDA and other about to do is finish that research. So we have an oral delivery system, we have a, a we have a bioavailable extract, and we have identified uh, an immediate application for this to do with metabolic syndrome causes and to do specifically with diabetes 2, which is now the number one major concern uh, to population groups throughout the world. And in the Sadak countries of where I live, which includes the Indian Ocean Islands 
and 23 other countries from South Africa to Southern Africa, you have a population uh, which has more than 16% uh, uh, diabetics and of which is probably the same amount that are diabetic but are not accounted for. And this is to do with diet, this is to do with uh, sugars, is to do with dairy, is to do with lack of exercise, is to do with a whole host of things. So we've changed our diets and we're basically killing ourselves. Prior research published in, in scientific journals has demonstrated that green tea catechins uh, delivered to the plasma have the ability to uh, counteract these uh, negative aspects that are affecting humans with diabetes to do with insulin and glucose levels. And we um, have um, put together a clinical study on behalf of Protex Mobility, which will start next month, which will um, validate that the hemoglobin levels are improved with all diabetics. And this study um, is going to um, include up to 120 people. Those numbers still to be validated. We also know that uh, the problems uh, with um, diabetes is to do with uh, lack of vitamin D. And so we are also looking for an FDA botanical drug category, which is a dietary supplement through vitamin D deficiency. So for where we sit, this is a very exciting time um, for Protex, it's a very exciting time for Blancher, who manufactures the extract and sells that extract globally throughout the world. And the second half I want to talk about is cannabis biosciences, which was recently acquired by um, uh, Protex. And this decision was made by Plancher's board, as, as we believe that the uh, research and development to complete the delivery of a cannabinoid complex, um, including polyphenols and the amigas, um, also relates to uh, completing our work with citrus and carotenoids. All these are oil-based plants. And this work is in the process of being finished in the next 45 days. We expect, through all the efforts we have made throughout the world, our prior work in Uruguay and our current work in South Africa, that in due course the regulators will see fit to grant a research and, and development license that will allow us to undertake specific areas of research, produce a non-psychoactive cannabinoid complex, uh, and deliver it in our oral delivery system. And when I talk about non-psychoactive, there's a lot of ignorance about the cannabis plant and, and how um, we understand psychoactivity. Cannabis plant is non-psychoactive and only changes its characteristics when the plant is dried or cooked at 100 degrees Celsius for more than five minutes. And that science is published in 2014 uh, edition of Pharmacopoeia. Uh, on cannabis, which was published in the United States on page 34, and it's very specific. The plant contains TCA, TCB acids, which convert to the full psychoactive uh, molecule after drying or cooking. In, our, in, in the plant of science, neither of those events take place, and we ex expect to retain the uh, acids and not the psychoactive molecule and also retain the complex of up to 103 other cannabinoids, polyphenols, including um, catechins, and the amigas. The amigas will be the oil phase that has been removed of the water and retained in the complex. The product will be solvent-free, and we will undertake specific studies um, in collaboration with academia, and other institutions to validate that specific uh, targets are being addressed, that is addressing the blood-brain barrier, um, the, de uh, the degradation of the blood-brain barrier through uh, impurities that are destroying it and allowing uh, 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 overload of, of white blood cells to attack and destroy the protective layers of the immune system and the central nervous system protective layers. We believe that 
our focus um, in in finding solutions is not is not focused on the outcome. It's focused on on how it occurred. And we believe that a great deal of the problems are occurring through degradation of the blood-brain barrier. So our target is to address neuron disorders of Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, dementia, multiple sclerosis, uh, and blood-brain trauma. We would also look at uh, pain. We would look at sleep disorders. And of course, all the antioxidants, not just the, um, uh, the cannabinoids, but the catechins also have the ability to travel through the blood-brain barrier, and they also uh, perform effective scavenging of free radicals, which are the nasty that we understand from published science that is a major cause of degradation to the um, blood-brain barrier. And just coming back, we have a major product with citrus. This work was done in the United States with the USDA and various academic institutions and, con and food conglomerates a decade ago. We know that the bioflavonoids and the um, limonoids have huge therapeutic benefits towards in inflammation, sinus allergy, respiratory colds, uh, as well as rapid healing of tissue damage bruising. That work, together with the carotenoids, which is a complex of lycopenes, uh, beta and alpha carotenes, and lutenes, is to address um, specific cancers. And there's a multitude of published research out there that shows that the only reason why the, the companies out there today that have these extracts are not able to produce pharmaceutical grade is because they are unable to change the molecular structure and provide um, a product or an extract which the body identifies. We believe we have exciting times for Protex, for Plancher. We believe this is a legacy that my chair will leave to the next generation. Um, we believe that from the knowledge that we've been able to acquire in the last 18 years, the science was already written starting in 1836 when the first bioflavonoid was discovered. But unfortunately, the science of, of plant extracts has been lost to uh, pharmaceuticals, not, and I don't mean to say there's no place for pharmaceuticals, on the contrary there is, but at the same time, if we were wise and prudent, we would look to plant extracts in a way to protect ourselves and prevent disease and breakdown of our amazing human body. I thank you for listening to me. We are on an exciting journey, and I'm sure that there'll be lots of news to hear from in the coming months. Thank you.